It's a 20 minute to 5 second game. This is my cool out hour, chill time. And let's just develop the night supporting the pawn. Okay, going for a small tiny move here. Doesn't mean that it's not going to be impactive or it's not functional. They might be considering queenside castling, that type of thing. So I am just going to gently bring the knight here. Computer probably says push the pawn, but I don't want to lose any tempo in developing my pieces. So I'm just going to develop nice and steadily with the bishop here, looking to castle on the kingside. So they've got the Fianchetto Frug, they could go on Greedy Munch, as we know, Greedy Munching sometimes kind of upsets their position because they lose tempo, their pieces on the other side of the board, etc, etc. So we could attack this pawn because it doesn't have any support. What they're looking to do from this type of opening anyway, is to champion these pawns coming down the center. So I'm hoping in a sense that with their fancy manoeuvre that they're potentially going to do I think I'm actually going to take with the knight because we take with the queen, the knight's going to well if it goes there we can take it for free can't we so it's looking for a discover check on the queen so what else can they do we take with the queen queen's in the centre, knight comes, yeah the knight comes out to botherate the queen so we do lose a bit of tempo moving the queen again don't really like bringing the queen across here, but computers kind of loves bringing it across here. So the knight's there, queen's on the other side of the board, it's away from my king. Or do we just go for the simple? Move the knight twice, don't care. Let's move the knight. Kind of slows their process down for them. So they're bringing their queen out. Ah <laughs> oh dear. So it slows their process down a little bit for the knight, going for an exchange type thing. But as we said, they're probably looking to champion these pawns. So this pawn's probably coming down here, attacking the knight. So do we win anything in terms of maybe bringing the bishop here? Are they looking for this pawn with the queen greedy munching? So I'm going to go with a simple x-ray through to the queen. Maybe the jump here, looking to greedy munch. As we know, greedy munching for these pawns, as we've demonstrated, kind of does leave them a little bit wanting. So, oh, the knight's taken, but the, it's going to take our knight here with their bishop, so it's all complicated. But our bishop is on his queen, so if his bishop takes, then we take the queen. That looked like the idea. I, think the, I was just about to say, I think the Queen's moving across here now to double up on the Knight. It's also attacking this Knight as well. Is there a way out of this? Can't get to his King, so that might have been a half decent move that they've just made. So one of the Knights is going to fall, but we'd get the Bishop, wouldn't we? If, or maybe not. Just thinking... Go here, the queen takes there. Queen takes. And this doesn't get a check on their king at all, queen, does it? So we get this position with the bishop attacking their bishop. They take, and we can take. We're looking at this juicy square, but I don't know if we're going to have enough tempo because the queen can come back, can't it? Pawn takes. Knight jumps there. The bishop takes. Didn't really want to bring it back to attack the queen. Because the queen just gets away and it's an um, equal exchange. If we take with the pawn, 
We'll take with the pawn and queens there, knights here. And the queen can just come back here protecting that square. Bishop's protecting the knight. I'm not sure if I like them apples now. I'm wanting something better. Doesn't look like there is anything better. Hmm. Right around, queen still takes. Ah. Damn, I thought we had it a little bit sewn up there in a sense. Just jump there straight away anyway. And then if the queen does take, then we get the rook. Then these bishops on here, here. Let's, oh, it's gone there straight away. Let's put the check on then. Greedy much in the night. This pawn's going, as we said. Oh, it's not doing that. It's looking to take the night anyway. But we've got a higher piece out of it. Yep. Oh, we can't do that just yet. Okay. Don't really want to bother myself about actually saving the knight, but I want to get a half decent position. Let's castle. Knight has to come and block, or the bishop comes and defends. So knights blocked, queens kind of momentarily trapped in a way. Anything to attack, bishop, because he's coming for the pawn, or do we keep it like this? So I'll double my pawns, but maybe doubling pawns might be okay in this occasion. Make space for the rook, maybe. Oh, bishop just takes the knight, queen comes back in. Ooh, what to do? Don't really want to jam my bishop. Just bring the rook across. Just play a tiny steps. Bishop's obviously coming here now. So the king can't castle in the traditional sense. So is that something positive for us? What's the pattern that I'm seeing? I'm seeing some sort of pattern of the queen squeezing here now and the bishop coming here. Obviously that's not going to happen, but we could give it a try. It's easily defended, obviously, but we have to have something. We have to have a plan of sorts. Bishop's coming here because it needs to get activated, get the queen, queen here and the queen comes to defend because it's got the knight defending. So we'll take the knight off the board, then maybe the bishop's just going to sit here. Blocked it anyway. Blocked it with none of the things that I said. <laughs> okay, so don't think we'll entertain that. Nothing much else. To, he's uh, very good at blocking. Do we bring it more back here again? Or do we keep this line? 
I don't think there's any point in keeping this line because then my bishop's never going to be in the game per se. He's got these pawns that will come down and block it up. Which is a shame, isn't it? Let's go here. Still have space for the queen. Obviously the bishop can attack it. We can come and put a check on, something like that. Rook's down, so if we do go there with the queen, I think they can see it, and the rook's just going to come here. Right, it's time for this dark square bishop to get into action. This pawn's got no protection on it. So if we swing the bishop here, make it look like we're attacking the pawn. Rook comes down. Double up here, maybe attack this pawn. But is that good at blocking? That is just gonna push the pawn down. But we're trying. Queen's moved off the diagonal, doesn't like it, so we'll take here beyond the rook. Queen's also protecting the square, doesn't like that square for the queen. So the rook comes to defend, we can take this pawn as well. Yep, let's take this here. So there's some space around the king's side mate, area somehow, get the queen. Maybe to here, I'm not too sure, or even to here, but the bishop's blocking that off. So we might continue with the double attack on the pawn. Something to think about. We're going to want to get this situation going. Do we have anything faster? I don't think... Oh, we have this, but um, the pawn's blocking there at the minute. Ah, never mind. Rook's moved again. It's blocking this square, maybe the queen's getting into action. It's attacking the bishop, what am I on about? Let's attack the rook. Slowing us down in terms of our attack potential, but we, we're still attacking. Comes across and attacks the bishop this way. That would be just oh, it's not. It's attacking the queen with the support from his queen. Gives us a bit of space here, doesn't it? Puts the two on one on the pawn, but his rook is also defending there. Don't forget. Get a bit of a check on the king with the queen. This bishop can defend, but then we can take the pawn. In fact, his rook can defend as well. He'll be attacking our bishop. Okay, right, a lot of things happening there. One of the main things though is that, yeah, I was just gonna say their pieces are all jammed in in this little corner. So attacking our rook, so I'm going to attack their rook. So if we do capture, we could take with the queen or take with the rook. We'll take with the rook. If we make some inroads towards the king area, maybe attacking the pawn. Or do we just take this pawn off first? I think this one gets blocked off a little bit, doesn't it? Because the knight can just go here. Or the queen can get involved, so it defends it. So we may as well just stick with this pawn first, I think.
Yeah, so I was going to say earlier, yeah, all these pieces are jammed in over here, so now he's moved the king. Bishop doesn't have that diagonal yet because of this pawn, but I'm going to take... That might have been an error, just as I did that, maybe his queen can come here, because my queen doesn't have any protection. I'd have to bring my bishop here to defend, but then his bishop can take the... Oh, dear me. Just as I did it, then I realised that could have been wrong. Oh, that's okay, we didn't... I think they could have brought their queen here. I'll have to look at the evaluation. I think we might have lost out. So the idea is obviously to come here, but it's easily defended, so I don't think I want to waste my energy doing that. We've got a three on one though. So if we did get to here, we'd get one piece in, and then we could take with the rook. It's attacking the bishop. No, no, he's attacking our queen, but oh, bless him. His queen's got no support on. Oh, that's a bit. I thought they played all right up to that point there, damn. So we might probably resign now. It's the pressure of the end game, you know, you get tunnel vision. He saw that the bishop was unprotected but didn't see that his queen would be unprotected by coming to this square. It happens. Yes, good game. Just responded good game because they've said good game. Um. The only problem I've got with that is they've put good game in the chat, but then they're not actually resigned. They're just letting the time run out. <laughs> oh dear, okay, we'll claim victory on that then. Yeah, um, let me have a look at that position. Just going blam with the checks on. Nothing to worry about there, people. Nothing to worry about. Excellent. Good game.